everybody, it's EJ from iDesign.com, and today we're going streaking! Not really, but we are dealing with streaks today, and uh, 2D streaks on line art uh, style sketch and tune objects in Cinema 4D. So in some of my previous tutorials, I've used uh, some nice 2D diagonal streaks that have been applied to my objects, and I have had a lot of people asking how I did it, and it's a very simple setup. Uh, you can see in my viewport right here, I got a pair of sunglasses with some streaks on them. And uh, let me just walk you through the process. It's going to be very quick. Won't take much of your time. So let's just jump right in. All right, so let's make some streaks here. So let's go ahead and I have an, a material here named highlights. I got a luminance with just a little bit of gray. So we don't want bright white streaks, but a little bit of gray. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the alpha channel. And I'm going to go ahead and create a gradient. And this is what we're going to create our streaks with. And the streaks is just going to be, uh, we're not going to have any linear interpolation or anything, no interpolation at all. And you can see we got these sharp uh, kind of gradations or sharp changes from black to white. Uh, so then I'm just going to go in uh, command click and drag and just make uh, a streak. And you can see in my little uh, material sampler here that we now have a little streak action going on so I like to you know make one that's a little bit bigger and then one that's a little smaller so it looks a little bit cartoonish and then what I'm gonna do I'll keep that open for now I'm just gonna go and apply this to my let's see my lens here so you can see that first off it's really big and if I let me just move this out of the way. If I move the offset here, you can see that there it is. There is my streak. But right now it's straight up and down. It's very uh, uh, vertical. And what I want to do is kind of angle it. So you can do this one of two ways. You can go in here and first off you need to go and you can't, you can't angle anything with the UV mapping. What you'll need to do is go cubic and I'll turn tiling off here. Uh, and you'll see that we have stuff on both sides. Let's just go to front, see if that fixes that. Yep. And then we'll go to our coordinates. And now we can actually rotate by going to the coordinates and rotate the actual uh, streak or the material as it's projected or as it's uh, placed on our lens frame there. So we'll just duplicate this and then we'll go ahead and move it over kind of position that correctly and now we got streaks on both sides or on both of our lenses here now if you wanted to animate this you'd have to go in and kind of animate each of these offsets but I like to go a different route so what I want to do I'm going to create a second camera here and I made one already and it's going to be facing straight down so it's a parallel projection. It's basically a copy of the camera I already have. It's looking straight down, just a 90 degree rotation angle. So I'll just duplicate this again and rename this camera projection or proj. Uh, and basically we're looking at it the same view. And I'm going to use this as kind of like a movie projector where I'm going to project a texture onto objects. So instead of this uh, cubic projection I'm gonna go ahead and do camera mapping and then what you need to do is define a camera to use as your camera uh, mapping projection so it's exactly like a movie camera projector where you're gonna project onto you know a surface so I'm gonna use that camera proj and I'm gonna go ahead and you can see that our streaks are right here but what we can do is now move the actual camera and you can see that's moving the streaks and then we can go ahead and rotate this camera and we're rotating it in our viewport as well so this is a little bit more interactive we're actually moving an object so right now this streaks uh, the streaks got pretty big and you notice because we're using uh, parallel projection we're not like you can scale uh, the camera and stuff and that's not going to scale uh, the 
the uh, streaks at all. So what we need to do is go into our gradient and just kind of shrink everything down here. And let's move this over. Cool. So we got our streaks back. And then we can go ahead and move the camera and position that back to where it was previously. And that's basically how we get our streaks using the camera projection route. So you'll notice that we have uh, two of them here, two texture or two material tags on this. And if I move this over, you'll see that we only have the one. But what I need to do is I'll go into my projection and that's the one. And then here is my other one. So it was way over here. So this is my highlight. I'll just rename. Maybe uh, oh, I can't rename it. But so this is going to be my left one, and this will be my right one. There's, so they're positioned perfectly right now. So now what you can do is you can easily animate both of these by just animating this camera because it's projecting both of those materials, both of them a little offset, a little bit. Actually, let me do that again. So I might have lost some of you guys there. So we have one texture. So I already had two textures on here already. And I'm just going to duplicate it, same camera, and then I'm just going to offset it and move it over. So this is a little bit more easy to understand. And so again, we're using the same camera and then Boom, all we have to do is just move the camera. So I like using this camera projection method uh, because it's a little bit more interactive. I can actually move an object in my scene as opposed to just uh, animating an offset of this U, right? So this is a lot more interactive. I can just keyframe one thing instead of two things. And uh, that's how I like to get these streaks projected onto uh, an object. And then you can easily animate these suckers. So that is it for me. This was super quick, uh, super easy. I had a lot of people asking about this streak, so hopefully this answers any of your questions. Uh, if you got any questions, be sure to hit me in the comments, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.